Hey everyone! So yesterday on stream I had a little bit of discussion about Soul Guardian slash Infinity Island. Sadly what I have been witnessing lately is that a lot of players just reach a little bit of the end game, especially the rechargers, and some players simply lose the interest in the game and they don't feel like playing anymore. And during this week I was thinking to myself, why was I also feeling in a similar way? Why am I losing interest in the game that I used to enjoy so much? So the main purpose of this video is that I will show you also parts of the stream where I am discussing this topic and also providing like possible solutions and basically it's a discussion. I want you guys to tell me like if you think that I am correct, if you guys would change anything in the game so that the game feels better to play as the game should be as a gacha game. I did not log in for this past two days, mostly because one of the things that I wanted to do was playing cross server battle. And every time that I look at the time, every time I look at the time and I'm like, damn, I missed the crossover battle already. So I ended up not opening the game because of that these last two days. But, 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 but I want to talk about something, right? So there's a lot of players that have been a little bit, um, they have been enjoying the game a little bit less because there's no updates or they just max out their Pokemon and then there's nothing to do. I feel like there's something that should be changed on this game and that I, I always felt when I was playing, but I never cared so much, but I, I always felt it, which is like, let me just go over here. How much attack do I have? 19k attack. What if I remove this? I'm going to remove all of my runes. 17.5. I lost 1.5k attack. It doesn't feel like it's that big for the amount of time that you have to invest to get nice runes. There's two things that I feel like they reward you in a bad way or they did not reward you enough in this game for your grind. One of them is the team mode. It gives you some stats here and there like Pokemon HP plus 20. L like why? Why just plus 20? You, you stay wondering what the heck have you done to deserve such thing. Then you upgrade your Pokemon and it's like plus 30. Like late game, your Pokemon have so much HP. Your Pokemons are in the 20Ks that it does not feel like that plus 20 is impactful. The other things are the runes. As we saw it, a full set of runes only gives you like a difference of... Uh, what was the difference? 1.5k attack. A full set of runes. It's not maxed out. No, it's not maxed out. But the thing is, I feel like runes and things like team should have a much bigger impact on your Pokemon stats. Like, it needs to be much bigger. Because otherwise, the players that are grinding for six stars of runes which I don't have over here. I I swear I had one somewhere. Like this one. Why are you grinding for 6 star runes? Why are you paying for 6 star runes? They don't give you like a massive boost in stats. And we can see that by the runes themselves. We can see that by the runes themselves. That like uh, we have like full sets of physical attack for example. And the amount of stats that I got it, like, it, it was not enough, right? So I feel like they would need a change. They need to give you, like, much more stats. Because then you would feel just like Genshin Impact, okay? When you get a good artifact, a, a nice gear, right? Um, you feel rewarded for your artifact that you just got. When you get the good rune, you should feel like you were rewarded for getting a good rune. Like, I think the rune should completely change your Pokemon. Or, com like, you equip the rune and you feel like, damn, I got strong. Like, I feel much stronger after equipping this rune. Or, damn, I feel much stronger after I invested so much time and effort and countless hours on farming other Pokemon. Because it does not feel rewarding at all. It doesn't feel like it changes your Pokemon at all. Like, okay, it changes a little bit, but it should feel like much more. It's just sad that people are losing a little bit of an interest on Soul Guardian because they get to a point that the game is straight up. 
the game doesn't have anything else that so that you can strategize. Like you, you get the sandbags, you get the star ups, you get the rank ups, you get everything maxed out, and be like, "Yo, I'm done. I, I there's no strategy around here. It's just yeah. Or oh, there's nothing to farm. There's nothing that you you can be excited to obtain. And I feel like runes could be something that you'd be like, you are excited to obtain a rune that is nice, and you will feel that the rune is nice. After the stream, I also had a little bit of a discussion with Sky Dragon, and one of the things that he told me, which also makes sense, is that they should have things to the game outside of just straight up PvP. Most of other Pokemon gacha games have like some features that you can just play on auto and you have fun doing PvE battles because you build your teams and the teams just play for you. Over here, the closest that you would probably have to PvE would be the arena because you are playing against bots or maybe the raid bosses in the weekend. But then again, you have to play like all the battles manually. You have to just completely always be playing the battles manually. Or of course you can do arena battles on auto, yes, uh, I know that's a possibility. But there should be like more game modes where you can just PV, you can just go over there, you click blitz, you don't need to just spend your whole time in the game. And also since on the stream I spoke about the runes, I spoke about the teams over here because they don't provide you, like the bondings, they don't provide you much stats, right? They don't feel rewarding and one of the other things that I was thinking about is also the EVs, the effort values. Or maybe even the IVs as well, should they be scaled up? Because for example, I have 206 effort values on my Kyogre's special attack and I have 34k, 34.1k special attack right now and basically I am considered kind of a late game player. The Pokemon is not maxed out but it's very close to maxed out. So if I just reset this EV, I am 32.2k special attack. I know that I lost almost 2k special attack. I know that it's probably close to around 10% of my special attack, but honestly, it should feel like it, it should be more in my opinion. Getting a Pokemon with maxed EVs takes time. It should feel like the, the EVs that you are using, it should impact your Pokemon even more so that you can have like you need to have the decision making you need to feel the difference in the stats that you are just putting on your pokemon you need to feel a difference that's my opinion but yes that is my general opinion about the current state of the game is that some of the things that you upgrade do not feel rewarding like evs like getting actually like six star runes that should feel like way more rewarding that they are or even stuff like battle bond i feel like it's okay to start at the low number but it feels like the scaling should be better what do you guys think of these suggestions do you think that runes and everything else that i mentioned so far in the video do you think that they should scale more so that you can feel that you are actually upgrading your pokemon and the runes and everything else that you do makes a difference or do you think that everything right now is a okay because you don't want it to feel way too different from the normal Pokemon games. Let me know your opinion in the comments because maybe if everybody has the same opinion, maybe, just maybe, we could have the developers to change the game a little bit so that it actually feels interesting on the late game. Anyways, this was the video, hope you guys still enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys on the next video.